Okay, welcome to our Space Invaders tutorial part three. Um, let's take a look at what we have so far. We have our game screen, we have our player at the bottom. We can move our player left, we can move our player right. And when our player reaches the border, uh, the player is stopped uh, using boundary checking uh, based on the X coordinate. Okay, so for this lesson, um, you know, if you're gonna have Space Invaders, you gotta have invaders. So we're going to create a, that now or so for now we're just going to create one invader and basically kind of to test the you know basically d demonstrate how it's going to work later we'll learn how to create multiple uh, invaders okay so uh let's create it, the enemy create the enemy and so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a turtle called enemy and so I'm going to copy that because I'm going to be doing this quite a bit. And I'm going to make the enemy red. I'm going to make the enemy shape as a circle. And again, we'll, we'll change this later using images. But for now, this will work. We don't want the enemy to draw anything in the background. So we'll pen up. We want the speed to be as fast as possible because this is a game. And for now, I'm just going to hard code the enemy's position to minus 200 and 250. This will start the enemy, you know, minus 200, about up here somewhere in our game. So now just as we had for the player, the player speed was 15, we're going to make our enemy speed a little bit slower. And we're gonna make that two pixels. Okay, so let's take a look and see if that's created. Okay, oops, set position. Okay, there's a spelling mistake. No position. Okay, computers uh, need you to spell things absolutely correctly. Okay, so here's my player. Here's my enemy. Enemy doesn't really do anything yet, and that's what we're about to do right now. So this is the part where, in our game, we need to create our main game loop. Okay, so main. So inside this game loop is where all of our programming is going to go from from now on for the most part. Um, we need to have the game run basically true, so while true, so basically forever uh, until we, we break out of that. Okay, so as you said, we want to move the enemy. Okay, so just like we did with the player, we're going to use the x coordinate. So x equals enemy dot x core so same thing enemy plus equals enemy speed and enemy dot set x to x okay so it's the same thing we did before we get the current x coordinate of the enemy we add the enemy speed which in this case is 2 and then we set the x coordinate to whatever x is, the new x. Okay, so let's run that and see what it looks like. Okay, so we see our enemy's moving, and our enemy's gonna move right off the screen. So we need to deal with that. Oops. Now you notice, press enter to continue doesn't appear because we are now inside this loop which is running forever and doesn't actually get to this anymore. So we need to basically stop that the old fashioned way. Oops, Max are so sensitive. Okay, there we go. And we can close that as well. Or maybe not. Anyway, so now, so think about how we want our game to work. Once the enemy reaches the right side of the screen or the left side of the screen, we want the enemy to reverse. So that's the first thing we'll do. So just like we did up here with the boundary checking, we're gonna be doing the same thing. Okay. okay so first, so if the enemy dot x core is greater than 280.
Okay, so what we're going to do have two different things. If enemy dot x core. So we have two different sides. It's less than negative 280. Okay, so what this does, this is a little bit of math here. So when we start the game, our enemy's speed is 2. Okay, So our enemy goes across the screen, across the screen, gets to 280. We want to the enemy to go back. So what we need to do there is basically go from plus 2 to minus 2. So to do that, we need to multiply oops, by negative 1. Because 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Then when we get back to the left side of the screen, it's minus 2, minus 2, hit the boundary, multiply minus 2 times minus 1. That becomes 2, and it becomes positive. So let's take a look at that. So it should hit that, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, boom, minus 2, minus 2. Okay, so it'll just happily bounce back and forth forever. Okay, now of course this being Space Invaders, um, the invaders should come down as well. Okay. So what we need to do there is change the y coordinate. So what we need is we get the current y coordinate. I'll put that above that. So so y equals enemy y coordinate. There's no reason to do it that way. Just that's the way I have it written already. So what I'm going to do is every time the enemy hits the border, it's going to drop down by 40 pixels. This will bring it closer and closer to the player. Okay. So we change the speed, and then we're going to say enemy set y to the new y coordinate. And again, here we're going to do the same thing. And again, we can come back to this code, but uh, again, since we're kind of starting out, we just want to keep it simple. Okay, so let's take a look. So, okay, so did you see that? Kind of jumped down. And we test it both sides, it works. So the enemy is jumping down, coming over, and relentlessly moving towards our player. Okay, now unfortunately at this point our player has no defenses, um, so we'll have to rectify that uh, in, a, in another lesson. So let's stop that, and just real quick, review. So we now have created our enemy, again only one at this point. We've given it a speed, and again that's something you may play around with depending on the speed of your system for now. We've created our main game loop, which is where we'll be doing a, a, a lot of different things. And we're removing the enemy each time by its x speed. And we're doing boundary checking. So if it's greater than 280, we're going to get the y coordinate, subtract 40, change the speed by minus 1. This turns positive 2 to minus 2, and minus 2 to positive 2. So let's it go back and forth. And then we are setting the y coordinate. That's all.